driver Richard Rojas will now likely be committed to a mental health facility instead of a long prison sentence. An 18 year old tourist from Michigan was killed when he plowed through the crowd. Her family in town for the verdict and disappointed in the jury's decision. Our Stephanie Bertini spoke one on one with them tonight. She joins us live from Times Square now with more on their reaction. Stephanie. <laughs> Good evening. It was 2017 when it happened, but because of delays during the pandemic, the trial only started last month. The verdict today a shock to many, including the father of one of the victims. Meantime, the defense says this man will finally get the help he really needs. It was May 18th, 2017. Chaos in the middle of Times Square. 31-year-old Richard Rojas drove through a crowd of people, more than 20 victims, including 18-year-old Alyssa Ellsman, a tourist from Michigan who lost her life. I didn't expect it to go like this, no. Her father, Thomas Ellsman, is dealing with a new kind of heartache on top of the pain of losing his daughter. In court, a jury decided Richard Rojas is not responsible. His mental illness, as the defense argued in the trial, made it impossible for him to know what he was doing. He's very thankful for the verdict. He, you know, I think he believes, and this is without me quoting him, I, I think he believes that he has a second lease on life. Uh, he also is a very mentally ill man. And, he, and, you know, he needs a lot of treatment. Defense attorney Enrico DeMarco has been on the case since the beginning. There is a human side to me where you want to say, you know, you're sorry or what have you, but you can't because your job is as a defense lawyer to just do the best you can in presenting your client's cause. There were more than 20 victims. Some testified, including Ellsman's younger sister, whose injuries included broken ribs, a collapsed lung and a compound leg fracture and trauma. That car just went by here. If she hears a car rev, it's post-traumatic for her. It puts her in another space. On the defense side, Rojas's family members testified he descended into paranoia after he was kicked out of the Navy in 2014. Throughout the records that were revealed in the, tour in the course of the trial, Mr. Rojas has res expressed repeatedly remorse for this horrific incident. Uh, it's part of the trial record. The records, remorse, and the decision mean little to a father who won't ever get to experience things every dad should. Wedding day, definitely, and a grandchild, you know. And that father says while the family was waiting for the trial, he lost his son two years ago in 2020 to an accident involving a firearm. So much heartache for that family. As for Rojas, next comes a mental evaluation, and then we will find out his future. In Times Square tonight, I'm Stephanie Bertini. Teresa, Steve, back to you. Wow. Jeez.